gonna do a pod review today on the fish pepper right here and we got a couple that are finally turned orange and that's about when I like to pick them for seed and for flavor believe it or not because it's kind of getting a little bit on the sweet side and it's still yet a greeny type of pepper though I believe most of the time when these are eaten they are eaten in their green stage when you eat them with fish so let's pick a few of these and give them a go Da, da, da. And we got some lookers right here, folks. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. It's like a match made in heaven. You can see the beautiful stripes on the fish pepper. Now, this one's fully ripe. This has been sitting on there forever. So I kind of wanted to give you a contrast of what they look like like that. And I'll even pick one that's... Not so ripe, so to speak. Pick this one here, I think. Give you an idea of the color contrast with this pepper so you can see how they come. They can go from like this to this to that to this and all kinds of great stuff. So anyways, let's turn you around and give it a go. All right, guys, we're doing another pod review today and it's going to be on this pepper right here. And this is a fully ripened fish pepper. Now, keep in mind, when you grow your fish peppers, you are going to get pods that are going to come out, really no variegation in them, and they're going to turn red. Sometimes they're a little bigger than normal, and you're going to want to, don't mix those into the seeds of your regular fish peppers that are variegated. And the reason for that is, is a lot of times these peppers, the majority of the seeds that come out of them are all going to produce red, what I call red fish peppers. And so you don't necessarily want that. They kind of taste the same. They pretty much do taste the same. But you're going for that variegated look. And when you're doing that, you want to make sure you call off all the red types. Now, this particular pepper did have stripes on it. It's just I let it fully ripen in there to show you that they do turn red eventually. But some of them don't have any variegation. The pods will kind of come out. They'll look green and they'll just turn red and those are the ones you'd want to make sure you separate from the rest of your pods the only pods that i save from my variegated peppers are pods that look in general like this okay these are the only kind of pods that i save for it and all the rest of them i, I take them out and i'm probably going to be offering the red version of it on my website so it's separated out a little bit but I do separate them, and instead of throwing the seeds away, I will offer them in case people kind of want to grow for the red look. You can choose either way. Most people will buy the variegated version of it. All right, so without any further ado, let's give that a bite. Delicious pepper, man. Could be a creeper. There is heat on this thing right now, but it's, it's generally pretty low. Um, the flavor on this thing is unique. It's a very, very absolutely tasty type of pepper. It's very delectable. That's the best way to put it. Has a has all the attributes of a pepper you'd want. And I can see why this pepper is so popular with eating fish. It has a really unique flavor that kind of has like a, a it has a, a good balance of tarty and sweetness. But that tarty flavor carries a flavor with it and it's kind of strange it's I, I, it's really hard to pick those nuances up but it's a very nice type of flavor it hangs out in the back of your tongue it's not nauseating it's not fruity or anything like that it, it doesn't fall into like bell pepper flavors and it doesn't really fall into the other flavors i mean if you were to pick if you were to pick one of the major categories yeah it might start falling into the bell pepper flavor but it has a lot of cane flavors to it that kind of mix along with that it's really kind of a mix this thing and that's probably why it's variegated it's probably been mixed with a lot of different varieties of peppers so because of that reason that flavor is really various so you've probably got a lot of different flavors in there that might be why it tastes so good and has so many dynamics to the flavor now as far as the heat goes they're generally not really hot but they can get as hot as jalapenos, from what I understand. 
This particular one's probably pushing around a thousand on the Scoville. It's a very warm type of glowing burn. It's warm down the esophagus. It's warm in the stomach. It's warm on the back of my tonsils. It's nice and warm, like almost hot. My lips are a little bit warm. Not so much on the tongue, believe it or not. Almost nothing on the tongue. A little bit on the edges of the tongue, that's it. But tongue is and around the tip of the tongue, very lightly though. Where I'm really feeling it is more or less in the back of the throat, down the esophagus, warm in the stomach like a little, like you swallowed a little hot coal. Not hurting or anything. And um, the lips really, and very slightly around the tongue. It's really not bad at all. It's just the flavor of these things are delicious. It's, a, it's the kind of pepper I like to refer to as a snacking pepper. I like to come out here and pick certain varieties of peppers and just munch them seeds and all, placenta seeds and all. And they're really nice to snack on. They're very, it's, a, it's a delicious snacking pepper. But again, the heat is generally pretty low. That flavor is very, very interesting. It's a very exquisite type of flavor. It's something, if you've never tried a fish pepper before, I, and you like peppers and you're experimenting, I would def definitely say give this one a go. It's definitely within that range. But really, that's about it for the fish pepper. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. I'll leave all the information in the description and title and all that. You can look it up. I do believe I have seeds on my website for it, so you can pick up seeds there. i got to check if the inventory is in or not. Pretty sure it's in. And that's about it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.